everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I've got some new collections to share with you today. And I'm going to start with uh, Chow Bella, and um, the collection is called Farmhouse. So this is the um, patterns pad, and I actually want to start with the collection pad here. The, they call it a paper pad. Uh, Chow Bella does. So here we go. I love the sunflowers. Ooh, I like that. Oops, I skipped a page. Got so excited. Lovely, lovely. Oh, these are going to make great cut-aparts. And this too. Oh, I love it. This little guy is so cute. That's gorgeous. Milk and cream. Sweet cheeks. Cute. Okay, nice big journaling page. And of course, you could cut those into six by sixes, so you get um, multiple journaling pages out of that. <clears throat> Or, of course, just leave it as a 12 by 12. Little butterflies everywhere. Oh, this is really pretty. I think they did a really good job using brown, which is a tough color to use, I think. I think the puppy helps with that. Okay, I've got, we've got our border strips, which are always fun to use. Lovely. This is a good collection for 12 by 12. I can see that. Okay, this is a nice simple page. Now we've got some kittens. Something for everyone. <laughs> Little paw prints. Cute, cute. Oh, I like that. I like both of these. These are great. Okay, and a nice big finish. Little cut aparts, or you could just use as is. Very sweet. I really like the polka dots. So that's the paper pad. And then next we've got the patterns pack. Okay, we've got some cut aparts, card toppers. <clears throat> nice big wreath. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a nice card page or feature page for your um, mini albums. Lots of cut aparts. And then of course, I like it when they put um, just a pattern on the back so you you know can use part of this, uh, repurpose it. When it's double-sided, then the whole sheet is really just cut aparts. So you could hand select a few items and then still get some paper out of it. Okay. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so that is the patterns pack. And then there's also what they call a um, creative pad. And these are A4s. Oh, super cute. If you're a card maker, this is the pack to get for sure. <clears throat> cute, very cute. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this collection, but if I do, I can tell you I'm going to use the collection pack. I know that right now. Just um, you've got the extra print on the back, but so many of the cute cut aparts um, that really add, um, you know, embellishments to your page. So that is the creative pad. Next, I'm going to share with you that there is um, a six by six fussy cut. Now, this is three each of double, three each of the eight designs. Um, so this is um, ideal too for card makers. Um, you could get, you know, three sets of um, cards out of this. And then it also has an eight by eight pad and this is the paper pad. It does not have backgrounds, just paper pad and eight by eight. And then here are, these are so cute, I'm gonna have to pull them out so you can see them. Here are the rice papers. <clears throat> That's very pretty. <clears throat> I 
It's a nice size, <clears throat> not too big. I think it's about seven by seven. Okay, oh yeah, you could definitely use this on the bottom of a box and then this on the top. Um, so those are the rice papers that we have in stock. Um, and that is it for um, Farmhouse Garden. <clears throat> so the next one is going to be Enchanted Land. Enchanted Land. Sorry, I'm having a hard time picking it up. <clears throat> so here's the paper pad. We're going to go through this and then we're going to get right into the backgrounds. And I love this. I'm a huge fan of poppies being in California. They're just such a sweet little flower. She's so cute. Okay, lots of fairies. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are really pretty. I like that, too. Okay, I love it. This is a sweet little collection. That's a beautiful background. I like that. And this is kind of fun because there's no face here. That, that um, image doesn't really compete with if you have a picture of a person. It's not this face and that face, which I kind of like. I'm, I'm kind of sensitive to that when I'm doing a layout. Oh, look at all those cut aparts. Oh my, very sweet. <clears throat> and that is beautiful. I love a damask in any collection. And it's very soft. It, it probably doesn't show up on um, the video, but it almost looks textured just sitting in here in the studio with it. When I say studio, it's my junk craft room. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it sound fancy. So, so far I love everything. Not a huge fan of this. This just, you know, one of these things doesn't belong. It's this, <laughs> but I like this page, so I don't have any issue with that. It might go with something else, but so far I don't, I don't see that. These two go together. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Definitely beautiful for a 12 by 12. Wow, I like that. Okay, lots of cut aparts, which I love. I definitely, I think I would feature fairies and mushrooms on the cover. Yeah, and do some layering. So years ago, I created a little, um, terrarium. I had a little glass terrarium. I think I got it at Michael's or whatever. And I had um, a fairy collection from Graphic 45 and I fussy cut all these things out and left a little tab on the bottom, folded it under and glued them to rocks and put them in my little terrarium and made just like a little fairy garden. And then I put twinkling lights in it with a switch and it, I uh, gave, sold it as a nightlight. It was pretty cute. I should have taken more pictures of that. That was a while ago. I sold it at the expo uh, to someone. It was it was pretty. <clears throat> it's lovely. I like that. I like these two together even. See, I want that on another page so I could get two full pages out of it. Cute. Little, little card toppers. More cut aparts. I love that there's a, I don't have to use all of them. When you're a card maker, it's very easy to use all of them, but in a mini album, it can be uh, a little, a, a bit much. Because <clears throat> then you struggle to find room for the photos themselves. Because it's take, you're taking up all the space with embellishments. This is nice. And the layout for each one of these, this paper is really thick. Um, you can see where you can put, you know, uh, a two by two and a three by three. You can see where, where to place the photos on these if you put them in a mini album. You could use that as the feature side, and this is the photo side. Okay, you've got some alphabet. This is so personal, I don't usually put it in my videos because it is very specific. Um, so I think I want to go back and share with you again real quick because I don't think I, I I don't think I actually mentioned yep so these were all the patterns and I I, I didn't share with you where the break was so I'm going to go back and do that real quick so uh, 
And that's interesting. Where is the break? So this has 12. So let me go back through that. Sorry about that. I had one up right and one down. Yeah, these are all the patterns. <clears throat> Hold on. Is there a cut apart page? Yep. Okay. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you the, just the cut aparts again. I mean, just the uh, patterns. So we've got this, this. And the way you can tell is there's not like a big uh, image in the corner somewhere. Like with the collection packs. One side or the other usually has a big image in one of the corners or just a pose. Juxtapose. Okay, and that's the pattern pack. And here's the cover. Sorry about the confusion. Okay, and this has um, eight double-sided this is nice. Um, this has 12 double-sided, so this is a pretty pretty nice uh, collection pack. 12, 12 sheets. Um, most of them have 8 or 10. Um, when I, and when I say most of them, I mean uh, other brands. Then, in addition to that, we have the Creative Pad. Again, I think this is a card maker's dream. It has the right scale for everything. Cut apart. Oh, look at these card toppers. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Or you can use them on the inside too. I like that print. Yeah, I like the creative pads. I really do. Obviously, perfectly scaled to a four by six card. There's that beautiful. Like I said, I swear it really looks like it's textured here. Oh, that's fun. Look at the corners. I like that too. That's really pretty. On a, a four by six album, that would make a beautiful cover. <clears throat> okay, so there's the creative pack. In addition to that, you also, we also have the eight by eight paper pad, which is 12 of the double sided papers. There is the um, fussy cut pad, six by six, three each of eight double-sided designs. And unfortunately it doesn't have a picture in the back, but it's all fussy cut, right? And then we have a few rice papers to show you. And these are A4, 38, 37. We don't always get all of them. We kind of pick through and get the ones that we think you guys are most interested in. <clears throat> there you go. And so this is Enchanted Land from Chow Bella. And I think that is it. Yeah, that's it for this collection. Next, we have another Chow Bella collection. Sea Breeze. Let me make sure I've got it stacked right. There's the patterns, yeah. Okay, it is. I don't want to make the same mistake I just did. Okay, so on the paper pad, we'll start here on the cover. Summer Breeze. Somebody actually asked if we were going to carry this, so here it is. And we're, we're now shipping. So if you were holding off and didn't want to pre-order, these are in stock now. Get them while they're hot. That's a nice paint. That's pretty colors. I like this welcome home. That's pretty. Parts. That's a very nice two page layout. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Okay. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. They would make really nice cut aparts. Hmm. It's a cute lighthouse. We've got a ship wheel. Car toppers or cut aparts. That's a pretty color. It's like a salmon. Okay, you East Coasters, look there. We've got the uh, Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, Bahamas. Somebody's on vacation there, I'm sure. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, that is the paper pad. Next, we have the patterns. So again, that's, oh, let me double check. Uh, yep, yeah, 12 double-sided sheets. This is eight double-sided sheets. I like that pattern. Some cut apart. <clears throat> if you hand-picked, uh, you could definitely do Hawaii, any of the East Coast islands, or just East Coast in general. <clears throat> this looks very island. When I say island, I'm thinking of the Hawaiian Islands. Pineapples. There's uh, Bahama. So this is further, further east than the coast of the United States. Super fun. Oh, I love these. Me and my stripes or borders. That's nice. I like that one. Okay, let's see. This is a little darker. So the first one I said was kind of salmon. This is definitely dark, deeper, a little more color. Okay, so that is the eight sheets of the backgrounds. Now let's look at the creative pad. I like it when not I like clocks but I just like it when they put round things in um, because it's a more organic shape uh, compared to the rectangles so I think it makes makes for great layering when you have something other than a right angle uh, to work with so this is fun these are fun Super cute. That's really cute. Ooh, these colors are great. Wild and free, just like the sea. Oceanfront Boulevard, that's fun. Nice label. And there's that map again. Lovely portholes, that's fun. Okay, so in addition to that, we have the Fussy Cuts, and the collection pack comes in an eight by eight. And then lastly, I'm gonna share with you the uh, rice papers that we got. That's beautiful. I'm gonna upside down, sorry. They're so thin, I don't want to stack them because the uh, pattern below kind of bleeds through. That's pretty. Oh, look at this. They don't do this. I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't think I've seen a portrait in the rice paper, which I like. So that's kind of nice. 
Very nice. So those are the rice papers available for the Summer Breeze collection, Chow Bella. So that's all I have to share with you for Chow Bella. But if you look at the um, the recently released videos, there's going to be another video of uh, Stamparia collections just got released.